Hey, we're back in the shop. Uh, just got back a little, a couple of days ago from uh, North Idaho and already missing it, uh, but we're back in the shop. I have some projects going here. I got the old big saw set up for sharpening. Um, as I mentioned before, um, got some dull chains out of that uh, dry wood. So um, the other thing I'm gonna do is, let me pull this up here real quick. Is I got my old saw, my little 180 here, and I, Ever since I've owned it, uh, it's had this broken uh, handle deal right here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and, and I ordered in a, yeah, it's cracked. It's just cr cracked. It's just completely broke. So they, they just wired it, wire tied it back up together. So I'm going to go ahead and I, I got a replacement on eBay and I haven't, of course, I haven't tested it or anything to make sure. It looks like it's, it looks pretty darn close. Um, and I'm, I'm going to pull this thing off right now and uh, replace it. So that'll be my little project for the evening, and I hope it goes well. I know that these uh, little rubber grommets um, are known to give people some fits here. So um, I'm going to give this a shot and see how hard this is. I think I have to pull the, the trigger mechanism out first, which is it shouldn't be a big deal. So I'm going to get started on that, and that'll be my little project for tonight, and uh, we'll see how far we get on it. Yeah, it doesn't look like they threw it. They got one grommet here, which is a bummer. That should go. I mean, it looks like it snaps in there like like that, or or clip connects into that one. So that's kind of a bummer. I might replace the bottom one because it's probably the most oily one, and I'll just keep the other ones the same. Oh, and you guys are witnessing the first video with my new Canon. M50. So you got to tell me if the focus is good. Supposedly these have good focus, uh, autofocus, so I don't know, but we're, we're going to find out together on that one. What kind of quality we have here. It's obviously this thing's made in China, so um, I don't know what really what to expect. It looks very similar. It's got a little more grip, it feels like. It feels pretty, pretty much the same. A little bit of a bit of rough stuff going on there. I may have to kind of trim up a little bit, file that down a little bit. It's a little rough. That's better. You don't want that. That's on the trigger area. Let's see what comes off here. That comes off. Looks appears that I have to uncoil that and slide that right off. We'll just kind of leave that hanging. I'll just, I'll just take it out. Pretty easy to do, just a matter of remembering how to get that back together. Looks like that just slides right off that post. All right, so that, that was, how's it looking in there? It's pretty good. I had to do a new fuel line a few years ago. It looks like that's holding up good. It's running kind of weird and I just I had to do the fuel line. Got to pull this bar off of here, so let's do that real quick. Be a good time to woo, woohoo! Christmas time. That's pretty funny. And they say you just pry those out without destroying everything. I don't know. Maybe they're hard to get out. I don't know. I'd like to get one out so I know what we're up against. Let's do. Let's do two screws. Just in case here. Pull them straight out. Okay, it looks like that rubber piece is actually coming out with the plug. Okay. I guess that's okay. Yeah, I got this, I got this tool that might, that might work better. Yeah, I think that's actually really good. That was that one. Okay. That's hooked on there. They said these are pretty darn tight. Oh, there it goes. I got it. Got it. Yeah, they're in there pretty good. 
And if I can get this thing out without completely... It looks like it's already there. It looks like it's already coming out. that's still in there. Man. It's all ripped from that wire. Okay, there it came out. Alright, so... Alright, that... Yeah, that's pretty... It's pretty shredded. Okay, there is really no nice way to do this. I basically just kind of pried and pulled, and I think I've destroyed one of these rubber things. And the other ones are kind of borderline. So you basically just will just slide this out now. Wow, the thing really got messed up. Just cracked and broken. I still have to get this piece out of here somehow. This one I can probably leave in. I guess. So there's a rubber cap in there that you've got to be able to pull out and I can't remove it. Let's see if we can just pry that out. There we go. There we go. That's it. That's out of there. Nice. Okay, now getting that out is going to be a problem. It'll go on though, I bet. All right, well, here's what I'm gonna do. Here's my plan. I'm going to nerd, like use this old one because it's not ripped or anything. It's kind of screwed up, but that one I can actually take out later and replace, I think. I think I can actually push this grommet out the other side. So um, I'm going to try to jam and then I'll leave this one on there. That's fine. That, that's probably not going anywhere. And then I'm going to try to slide this new handle over the top and get it uh, get it together. Get it together, man. See if it fits. I just mainly just want to see if this thing fits. I can always find. I can always track down a couple more of those dampeners, but if it doesn't fit. That does not. Good thing. Let's see if I can kind of weasel this thing back in here. How does that go? How does that go? Oh, wait. Wrong side. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I've got to go on this side. All right. It looks like it's going to fit at least. It looks like, from what I can tell, Let's see here. What do we got going? Okay. Let's slide this. Slide that over there. Okay, that's on. All right. So everybody just says to jam those in there, but that's almost. I mean, it's not saying you can't do it. I'm sure you can. What I'm saying is I think that you do it from this side. to get out. Let me take the tank. There we go. Got it. All right. Nice. Nice. That makes it easy now. So, here's the deal. We got this cap on the inside. That's how they assemble this thing. 
and they put the handle on, I guarantee in order to do this top handle correctly, they have the engine out. They do this thing, they put the handle on here before they assemble, but I can't do that and neither can anybody else. So you just have to force it on there. So I'm leaving that one. Put the oil cap on here and I'm gonna and I'm gonna hook this thing up now real quick. And we're just gonna go ahead and check this out. I'm gonna take our new our new dampener plug and we're just gonna snap it in. It's probably gonna go right on in, hopefully. Shouldn't be an issue. Maybe, maybe not. It's still hard to put them in, I mean. They're definitely tight, but this will go for sure. It's going in right now. That's in. That's pretty good. Actually, I wish I could do that one. I mean, that'd be good, but I mean, there's nothing really wrong with that one. So the question is if that's gonna be good now. I just gotta get my little cap, and I think it's the same. These are all identical. Yeah, they're just the same caps on the inside as the outside. So you take your little cap and you put it in now from the inside and it just captures it. So that's that's how you get that out of there. Good to know. I think if I can shove that back in now with, a, with something to get down in there. Where's my where's that there that should be able to just pop that puppy right. Hopefully it doesn't shove it out the other side. It's still tight. I mean, you're not. It's going. It's kind of. And it is tight. Tight, tight, tight. Oh, here. Let's get that sucker all the way in there where it needs to be. Put that. And I don't know how you'd even come close to getting that out of there. Man, that is just kind of a nightmare situation there. in okay that that side's in now that's so that's good that's what we need let's see does everything line up I mean it looks a little how's that how's that gonna go here is that gonna line up everything or is it gonna be cockeyed and weird I don't know how it's gonna look yet Maybe okay. It may be okay. I'm gonna put this back in. And we're gonna put this other cap back on here. Oh, don't lose it. Okay. I'll put this other cap right back on. Actually, I'm gonna wipe that off, get the grease off of that. Should go right on there so the reality is to get this inside they want you to take off you basically have to take the motor off to do it correctly but people just shove them in there I don't know I mean you can see how hard that that is to do I'm glad I didn't reef on that too hard um, I can probably get that one to work now and, and at least get it on there. But it looks like the handle, looks like that fits. So I'm going to slide this tank back in. All right. After monkeying around with this thing for a while now, I think I've gotten that almost pulled through. It's just like barely hanging there. I'm just kind of like pulling it. And then I'm eventually going to have to shove it back into this other plastic piece. This is like a jigsaw puzzle. It's kind of a mess. 
All right, let's finish this video up. Um, uh, last night, after much finagling and stretching and pushing and pulling, I got all three of these in. Um, it just took uh, an incredible effort. Yeah, it was definitely not easy, and I didn't even take this one all the way out. So, and I, so I got this. I got the new handle on here. Um, it's uh, obviously a uh, aftermarket, you know, made in China kind of thing. Um, it's okay. I mean, for the price, I would have expected a little bit more, but it's probably not as much as a, you know, an actual OEM one. It seems to be that these are sliding around a little bit in there. Um, they're not going to come out. There's no way there's a coming out of there. I could barely get them out with a screwdriver. And then even when that happened, it took forever to get them out. So I'm, they're not going to, it's not going to come off. I, I don't know about its durability. It seems seems to be a glass filled nylon um, I don't know what the original one is I may actually put this piece back I may use the original handle side or half of the handle because it's just a little more comfortable it seems to have a little bit better fit and finish fit and finish is pretty bad uh, on this thing um, the gapping right there it's just kind of hacked hacked and whacked um, but it does work um, it's fixed uh, it doesn't have a big you know broken part on there and it should give me probably quite a few years of service um, I don't know how it was broke in the first place I mean I'm, I'm not real hard on these things so <clears throat> maybe somebody dropped it or something but I've used this for seven years so seven or eight years and I've never had a problem with it um, seems to be functioning fine um, but these are a pain to get out what I did learn as you saw from the video is that these are there's cap here there's three caps here this one has sort of a plug that you push in to lock it down, and these have identical caps. I'm guessing, I, I'm 99% sure that there's an identical cap on the other side here, and I know that there's an identical cap on the inside, as I showed you with t taking the tank out. So what the, the way they assembled this was they did this before the motor was put in. So to do this the proper way, to get this plug or this this dampener out right here you either have to muscle that thing back in which people say is possible yeah i can see the i can see the cap on the other side here or you'd have to somehow what would you do you could you'd have to pull the motor out i think i think you'd actually have to split the case here pull that off and probably slide the motor out which honestly it's probably not all that hard to do. I mean, I'm gonna eventually have to replace some sort of oil line in here because it's leaking oil. And it, it I'm probably gonna have to take most of, of it apart anyways. Um, so it's, it's probably not that hard. This cover comes off super easy. This brake comes off super easy. And I don't know, I didn't really even look in there, but I, I'm guessing that that motor just unbolts somehow maybe from the other side here, but it's probably not all that hard to take out of there. And then you can get to the other cap and, and do it the right way. Um, but it's just, other than that, if you, if you don't do it that way, you've got to like lube that thing up somehow and, and jam it in there. And I'm just hoping that one doesn't break. Doesn't, none of them were really broken. They were just kind of the one down here. I'll probably end up putting a new one in there. That's the old one. That's a new one. That's an old one. And that's an old one. That one's really worn out. So it's because it's all oil. Oil gets all over it down there and just kind of gets it all goopy. So I have another one coming for that. He forgot to send it. So they're going to send me a new, some new ones anyway. So I'll, I'll probably replace that one. That's pretty easy to get to. And, and now that I know how to do it. Uh, what else? I'll probably have to change and I'll probably want to take this off and clean the sprocket. I'm going to clean this thing all out and then, um, yeah, get it ready for basically just store it for the winter until next spring when I need it and get it all cleaned up. I'm going to do the same thing with the big saw, but you know, that's kind of a, I don't know, it looks like there's some flashing on here. I'll take some sandpaper and kind of make this thing, yeah, probably just touch it up a little bit and get the fit and finish a little better. And uh, it'll be fine. I think it'll be, I think it'll be fine. It feels, it's a little flexy flex right there, but I think the old one, the old one is the same way. I mean, it's not... Yeah, I mean the old one's kind of, kind of bendy too. They're all kind of flexible. Man, the original one feels so much nicer though. But you can tell they just pulled a mold off of it. It's the exact same thing. Um, 
and put a little bit more structure inside there I think which is good um, but yeah and I yeah I think that these holes on the original one are just slightly smaller or maybe they put glue or something in there it does feel kind of weird but um, yeah what a pain to get off of there and this thing's junk I can't use that so that's kind of a bummer but hey you know that should be good good service should be good for another 20 years of run time so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna probably do some videos here on cleaning up the chains and I gotta I'll, I'll just you know do the standard blow this thing out this is really bad get that all cleaned up so yeah cool all right guys um, that was the project and I got that on there and that was that's good I'm happy about that so I will see you guys on the next one